Welcome back, beautiful beings. Okay, I'm making a Halloween pocket file for my Halloween photo album. But as you can see, I haven't figured out what I'm putting on that yet. But I do have pocket files in mind, so I'm gonna make sure this is against the seam. And this, I wanna glue this down here on that, like this. But I wanna make sure this edge right here is not going out past the edge of the, photo, the Halloween photo album, okay? And the reason I'm gonna show you this because I want you to know why it does this. See how these, these are all for fall, but when you start stacking them and you have pockets in there, you have lace in there, you have ribbon, whatever, they start coming out, okay? So I wanted to show you that. So that's why I wanna make sure to be clear if you're gonna make a photo album Halloween photo album or whatever, even a journal, you want to make sure this stays in, okay? And they do come out. But the plan is, I'm going to glue this here because it's not long enough. All I did was take this, this was white. This color was on his back, but it was white. There was no nothing on this. So I took light paint, gray paint, and I took dark gray paint, okay? And just swished it around on there. All right, put that against that like this. This goes, and then you can use the other piece. I'm going to use the other piece for the other side. This is going to be glued on the outside of this. And then the plan is I'm going to take this and glue this down. Then we're going to take a little ghost in the window, and he's going to be put right, right there. Okay? And when I get all that done, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. We're going to sew down. Some creepy cloth. Glue down some creepy cloth. I just woke up, so I'm not awake yet. I just want a little bit of glue there. And I just put a real thin piece of creepy cloth down. This is the challenge. I did a video on these. How to pull a hole through these. Okay. There's two different versions because one's longer than the other. And how to get them through without cracking the plastic. But we're gonna try to put this when it doesn't have that much room to fold over on the other side. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna have to turn this sideways. I'm gonna do this and I want it about right there and I got this one it's a really small hole puncher pokes really small holes holes <laughs> not awake sorry guys okay so let's punch a hole this in I should have done that before. It's all right. I think I want it about there. Throw some hole. See that? Then we're gonna put this through. Hopefully. <laughs> short it's too short so we're gonna so I had this one ready because this one's longer like I said I did a video on this so I'll put that in the link so you can see how we did that I'll fold that over flatten it and then I'm gonna flatten our brat and we can cover that up, so I'm not even worried about that, okay? That's how it looks on the other side, and we can cover that up, all right? And it's adjustable, okay? And hopefully I got that as tight as I can get that. But the 
reason I got that there. I want to see if it holds a picture now. And it does. Awesome. Okay, showing it does hold a picture. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to hold a picture. And then we have our ghost. And we're gonna glue him down right there. Okay, I might end up sewing him. But for now, I'm just gonna put glue right here. Okay. I'll put him right there. Flip ya. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm gonna put this ribbon I got from Joanne's. Waste some time on here. And then I got this piece I painted pewter gray and this owl. But I gotta finish painting this. Ow, this bat. <laughs> I'm gonna put the bat right here and have it feel a little tough there. But I have to finish painting this. I'm going to I'm gonna layer here on this. So we did I did pewter, and this is on orange. Because I couldn't find a scrap long enough. So I put pewter on it. And now we're gonna use granite gray. Same thing, same colors I used on this. Okay, I'm gonna take some paint, black. And there's an X on it because when it gets almost gone, when I only have a tiny bit, I add a little bit of water. So I put an X so I know I add water to it. It just reminds me. I'm gonna take some of this. And I'm gonna go like that, just like we did on the other one. Then I'm gonna take my stamp. Any more. You gotta hurry before the paint dries. Take my stamp. Paint it on it, and then we're going to start up here. I probably didn't go over far, far enough, but that. we're just going to give it some black rocks. Some black rocks looking. I'm going to add some more paint. With me. I don't want to squeeze it too hard. Oh, oh, look what I did. Do you see what I just did? I did it upside down. Because I'm trying to hurry. It's still sticking all over the place. Okay, so push that down. And I'm going to lightly do it because I don't know if that's too thick. And on the bottom, a little bit. See if I like that. I'm gonna add some more. Flip this because I want that rock right there. There. Flip this over. And I want some more right there. And another one right there. All right, and when that dries and I clean up, I'll be right back. Okay, beautiful beans. We're gonna glue this down right here. But we're gonna take the wire out. And if you wanna put beads, the little tiny beads that you have that won't fit on anything else, save that wire, because you can put it on there. And we're gonna glue this down here. And I want it so it's just a little bit, because I might sew it, I don't know yet. At the top and the sides perfectly. So 
on this side. Good. And then the sides. I'll probably end up sewing that so it's more secure. Right? Then the bottom. Just gonna put it on the edge. That's glued down. All right, now we're gonna move that out of the way. We're gonna do this piece. I just did. I'll turn you. All right, so this is gonna go up. I think I want it that way. I think I want it this way. Yeah, that way. This is gonna. I got this. These leaves. And I'm gonna have them going up the wall. dropping everything. <laughs> I'm having a heck of a time. I marked it here. If you can see that with a pencil to where I want it. I want it about right there. So different size pictures can be put in there like that. So that'd be like right there. Okay. But now I have to add a little bit more glue to these leaves. There we go. And then this can fit in there. That. And then I'm going to show you. You can put a little picture up there so you see more. It block it so you can see more. Of the picture behind. If you want to put a smaller picture up in here, and it will stay. Okay. It will stay. You just adjust him. Just adjust the skeleton hand. See? And I'll stay. Right? So when this is dry. I think I'm done with that. I think that's all I wanted to do, but I want to make sure that's straight. Because it doesn't look straight from here. Oh, I wanted to put creepy curl. But I gotta make sure that's straight. I think it is. Maybe it needs to go a little bit more. Yeah, because the bottom isn't. All right, now I think it's straight. Just want a little bit. Let's see. Let's put that there. This here. I need to wash my fingers. It's sticking to the dry glue on my fingers. Just a little bit across there. Then I need a little bit more glue on this. And I think that's good. Okay. There we go. I think that's pretty much done. Okay, beautiful babies, don't mind the mess. <laughs> I want you to have a full view of this. So here's the full Halloween pocket file. Okay. I wanted to give you a close up of the bat. I sewed the bat here, and I sewed the bat there, okay? And then you got the creepy cloth down, all right? So the textures, and the ghost, 
and a cute creepy cloth and our skeleton here. Right. And then you can take, put this in, picture in there, picture in there, picture in there. You can see the whole thing. <laughs> and then you can put, tuck something up in here, underneath the bat. Put a picture in your hair. Depends on what size you want. If you want to see the picture in the background or not. And then you can put something big behind here. Okay. See that? And it all holds in place. Okay. Alright. Part two is on its way. Have a wonderful everything.